Welcome to another Infinite Painter 6 tutorial. Today I will show you how to create and use patterns. A pattern in digital art is any repeatable motif that can be used as fill or an element of composition. A special case of a pattern is a seamless pattern, specially prepared image that can be repeated in any direction without visible discontinuities or seams on edges. Infinite Painter has tools both for creation of high-quality patterns and for application of such patterns. Some of the tools are really powerful. There are two separate environments for creation patterns in Painter. One is a set of relatively simple tools in the Tools menu that can be used in any project. The second is a special pattern project mode that allows us to produce high-quality high seamless pattern tiles. What is not obvious that you can use the quick pattern tools within the pattern project, such a little pattern inception. Let's start with the quick pattern tools. In fact, each of the four tools serves a separate purpose and each requires a separate setup. Let's start from the rightmost tool, the tile pattern, because it is the most intuitive and probably the most useful and fun of all. The tile pattern tool simply repeats the selected rectangular fragment in all directions. In default mode, the, the tile is reflected both in vertical and horizontal direction, creating a seamless but obviously repetitive pattern. By playing with the controls and position of the tile, you can create infinite number of patterns from a single image. The result is a pattern replacing your active layer, but there is one trick more. You can save the tile and quit the tool, leaving your original image intact. Then the saved pattern tile is immediately available in the Pattern Field tool, so you can use it even, even in the same project. The created tile stays saved for your next projects, of course. The other quick pattern tools work in a slightly different way. The Quilt tool produces a rectangular array of copies of a selected fragment, filling a selected area. You see that when I enlarge the original area, the number of copies changes. This tool seems to work best for more disciplined technical illustrations. You can also use it to create a grid for comic-style page layouts. The Path Pattern tool creates an array of duplicates along a path. This is apparently in intended for creating plants. The size of the copies decreases along the path. There are pretty limited controls here. Spacing is obvious, but size and angle are rather randomness control. You can't control the rate of the size reduction or the position of the original relative to the path. When the spacing is set to zero, the tool turns into a full color brush, but very slow brush, in fact. OK, and the last or the first counting from the left to right is a symmetry pattern tool which should be rather called a radial pattern, but it just creates a radial array of duplicates. With the fan parameter set to about 50% and reflect options turned on, uh, you can produce more sophisticated designs. The handle controls only the number of planes or copies, not the angle. Now let's take a look at the pattern project mode. This is a powerful editor for seamless patterns. Everything I draw here is repeated in real time more than 400 times. But this is only a preview of the pattern, as in fact we are, we are creating a single tile which can be later repeated infinitely. The tiles you create here may be very simple or very complex depending on your needs and skill. You can use imported photos, you can paint, you can design very complex compositions here. Let's create a more elaborate pattern to show you the power of this tool. From a sketch through geometric layout to detailed drawing, all can be controlled in real time. When I'm finished, I export the tile to a PNG file and I can use it both in Painter and in any other graphic applications capable of using repetitive seamless patterns. Now let's explore the 
pattern field tool. Here we have available pattern tiles, default at the bottom, imported on top. With the plus button you can add more from various sources. Note that the ties don't have to be square and don't have to be seamless at all. And as you see, the ties can be of very high resolution. Once you've positioned your pattern, you can adjust color of it and opacity. Of course, you can fill any area. Patterns created in Painter can be used not only as pattern fields, but also as paper textures and brush texture textures. Here I create a railroad brush using the tile pattern tool. This requires more advanced skills, but the possibilities are endless. Even when I use the pattern field tool, I am not limited to a flat form of the pattern. Using transformation tools and a few other tricks, I can add some life and realism to pattern fields. Outside Painter, the pattern ties can be used directly in Infinite Designer vector application, because Painter and Design share a common library of patterns. Seamless patterns created in Painter can be used in any other graphic application, even as 3D textures, if you wish so. That's all about textures in Infinite Painter. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more tutorials and consider supporting the project. Thanks for watching.